Hello and welcome to another lecture on inverse trigonometric functions. Today we shall be studying about properties and graph of inverse tangent function and inverse cotangent function. Later we are going to deal up with some numerical problems that will be based on finding the principal values of inverse tangent function and inverse cotangent functions. Now starting with an inverse tangent function, let us consider a function fx which is equal to 10x whose domain is equal to r except for odd multiples of pi by 2 and range is equal to r. A portion of the graph of 10x is shown in the figure. Now here clearly f is not 1 to 1 but if we restrict the domain from minus pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 f is 1 to 1 and so it has an inverse function called inverse tangent function or an arc tangent function denoted by 10 inverse thus y is equal to 10 inverse of x if and only if x is equal to 10 of y and y belongs to interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Next we are going to discuss the properties of an inverse tangent function. The first property gives us the domain of 10 inverse x which is equal to r and its range is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. The value of 10 of 10 inverse of x is equal to x for x belonging to r. The next is that the ten value of 10 inverse of 10 of y is equal to y for y belonging to interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That is mod of y is less than equal to pi by 2. The fun with the values of y as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is increasing and is 1 to 1. Next we are going to draw the graph of 10 inverse x. In order to draw the graph for this function we note that the value of y which is equal to 10 inverse x increases monotically from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 as x increases from minus infinity to infinity. And the value of 10 inverse of 0 is equal to 0. Using these two points we can draw the graph for y which is equal to 10 inverse x as shown here the portion of the curve for which y is less than pi by 2 and greater than minus pi by 2 is known as the principal value branch of the function y equal to 10 inverse x and these values of y are known as the principal values. Next moving to inverse cotangent function here let us consider a function fx which is equal to cot x with domain equal to r except for even multiples of pi by 2 and range is equal to r. A portion of the graph of cot x is as shown. Here clearly f is not 1 to 1 but if we restrict the domain to 0 to pi we note that f is 1 to 1 and so it has an inverse function called inverse cotangent function or r cotangent function which is denoted by cot inverse. Thus y is equal to cot inverse of x if and only if x is equal to cot y and y belongs to 0 to pi. Next we are going to discuss the properties of an inverse cotangent function. The first property gives us the domain of the inverse cotangent function as r and its range is in the interval 0 to pi. The value of cot of cot inverse x is equal to x for x belonging to r and the value of cot inverse of cot of y is equal to y for y belonging to interval 0 to pi. The function cot inverse is strictly decreasing and is 1 to 1 for x having the values of r and y belonging to interval 0 to pi. Next we are going to draw the graph for cot inverse x. In order to draw the graph for y we note that y decreases monotically from pi to 0 as x increases from minus infinity to plus infinity and the value of cot inverse 0 is equal to pi by 2. Thus the graph obtained for y which is equal to cot inverse x is as shown. The portion of the curve for which 
y lie between 0 and pi is known as the principal value branch and these values of y are known as the principal values. Next we are going to consider inverse second function. Here let us consider the functional equation as x equal to sec of y. Now we know that y increases from 0 to pi by 2 then x increases monotically from 1 to plus infinity. Also as y increases from pi by 2 to pi then x increases monotically from minus infinity to minus 1. Thus, there is only one value of the angle lying between 0 and pi whose second is any given number not lying between minus 1 and 1. Accordingly, we can define sec inverse as the angle lying between 0 and pi whose second is x. A portion of the graph of sec x is shown here. Now, clearly, f is not 1 to 1, but if we restrict the domain to 0 to pi by 2 union of pi by 2 and pi f is 1 to 1 and so it has an inverse called inverse second function thus we may write y equal to sec inverse of x provided x is equal to sec of y and y belongs to interval 0 to pi by 2 union of pi by 2 to pi next we are going to discuss some properties of inverse second function the first property gives us the domain of sec inverse x which is equal to union of minus infinity minus 1 and 1 and infinity. And its range is union of 0 and pi by 2 and pi by 2 and pi. The value of sec of sec inverse x is equal to x for mod of x greater than or equal to 1. And the value of sec inverse of sec y equal to y for y belonging to interval 0 and pi and y not equal to pi by 2. The function sec inverse x is strictly increasing and is 1 to 1. Next we are going to draw the graph for sec inverse x. In order to draw the graph we note that value of y which is equal to sec inverse x increases from 0 to pi by 2 as x increases from 1 to infinity and y increases from pi by 2 to pi as x increases from minus infinity to minus 1. And the value of sec inverse of minus 1 is equal to pi. The graph for y equal to sec inverse x is as shown. Now here the portion of the curve for which y lies between 0 and pi and y not equal to pi by 2 is known as the principal value branch of the function y which is equal to sec inverse x and these values on y are known as the principal value. Finally we are going to deal up with some numerical problems. Now in the given problem we are required to find the value of cot inverse of root of 3. Now here let us suppose x equal to cot inverse of root of 3. That is cot of x is equal to root 3 which is equal to cot of pi by 6 which can be rewritten as cot of pi plus pi by 6. Therefore x is equal to pi by 6 and 7 pi by 6. Since the principal value lies between 0 and pi for cot inverse therefore x is equal to pi by 6. Thus, the principal value of cot inverse root of 3 is equal to pi by 6. Next, we consider another problem in which we are required to evaluate the value of tan of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 minus pi by 4. Now, here we know that 2 tan inverse x is equal to 10 inverse 2 x by 1 minus x square. Therefore, 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 is equal to 10 inverse 2 into 1 by 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 5 whole square. Thus the value of tan of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 minus pi by 4 is equal to 10 into 10 inverse 2 into 1 by 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 25 minus 10 inverse 
1 which on simplification gives us 10 of 10 inverse 5 by 12 minus 10 inverse 1. Now applying the formula of 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y which is equal to 10 inverse x minus y divided by 1 plus xy we have this value equal to tan of 10 inverse 5 by 12 minus 1 whole divided by 1 plus 5 by 12 into 1 which is equal to tan of 10 inverse minus 7 by 17 thus we the value as minus 7 by 17 thus the value of 10 of 2 10 inverse 1 by 5 minus 5 by 4 is equal to minus 7 by 17 with this we conclude this lecture on inverse trigonometric function which was based on inverse tangent function inverse cotangent function and inverse second function